Hi everyone, Matthew Hussey here. I hope you've had the most incredible summer. I know I have. I've been filming this new show, Ready for Love, for NBC with Eva Longoria producing it. It's been the most amazing couple of months, but it's also been a vacuum. You know, I've not been able to spend time or attention in other parts of my organization that I'd like to. I've been relying on my team a lot and uh, it's been tough, but I want to now get back to what we were doing before. Before we started this summer process of me filming, I was getting you videos regularly, I was getting out content, and I haven't been doing that, and I'm sorry. And now that this is all finished, I wanna get back to basics with you and give you regular stuff that can help you move forward in your love life. Now, before I jump into today's content, I have a funny story to tell you. During the filming, I'm sitting there, I had, halfway through filming, I had my family come and see me. And they flew out from London to come and watch the stage show. Every week on the show, there's a stage element of the show where I'm on stage critiquing people on their dates. And we have this big screen that shows the dates and it's amazing. Now, after one of the shooting days, we wrap, we go to dinner backstage and I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there with my mom and my dad and my brother and Eva Longoria walks by. And so I bring her over, I say, Eva, come meet my mom and my dad. I pull up a chair, she sits down and I say, Mum, <laughs> I need you to have a word with Eva. I have been asking her on dates since day one, since getting here, and she keeps rejecting me. She's not having any of it. You need to talk some sense into her. Now, my mum, you know how mums, they don't know how to stick up for you. They're like, and the funny thing was, as soon as I said it, Eva said, he hasn't been asking me on dates. That's a lie. He hasn't been doing that. And my, I go, Mum, back me up. Sort Eva out. And my mum goes, well, he's a... He's a lovely boy, Eva. He's a really nice boy. You, you, you'd really like him, which was hilarious. That's like my mum's version of really selling me. And here's what I wanted to get to. Eva Longoria uses get the guy tips, get the guy techniques, naturally without even knowing it. Here's what she did. She said, well, Matt, what, what star sign are you? I said, I'm a Gemini. And she said, I think, don't quote me on this, I think she said she's a Pisces, but she says, you're a Gemini, I'm a Pisces. I can't, can't date, it can't work. Now this is beautiful, because in this moment, she's doing what we talk about all the time and Get The Guy, which is breaking rapport. Actually disqualifying him for a moment to make him want to fight for you and come closer. So it was so funny, I remember walking away, and my family knows all the Get The Guy techniques, because they're around me in my seminars all the time. I remember walking away and my dad going to me, Wow, has she been on one of your seminars? It was literally as obvious as that. So she does them naturally, isn't that cool? Now, today's content that I wanted to take you through is, are you selling yourself short in your love life? Are you selling yourself short? Now, there are different ways that people sell themselves short. Here's what I don't mean when I talk about that. I don't mean in terms of looks. People talk about looks all the time. You know when people see a couple and they say, oh, I don't know how he got her, or I don't know how she got him, and they're just referring to the visual element? That always makes me cringe, because attraction is about so much more than that. And when someone says that, I know they don't fully understand attraction. Because you can get someone who's not a model and doesn't look like people in magazines and still is sexy to so many people just because of their energy and the way they act. So I'm not talking about the visual element here. I'm talking about are you selling yourself short in what you expect from other people and what you allow in terms of their behavior. Let me give you some examples of how people sell themselves short. One, settling for someone who treats them badly and doesn't treat them with enough respect. Right? They go about their business not giving you the respect you deserve. Two, they talk to you in a way that you would never allow other people to talk to you, but you do it with them for some reason. If someone talked to your friend like that, you'd never allow it, but you do with this person. How about this one? Someone is uninspiring. They're not creative enough. They're not passionate enough with you. Maybe they're not ambitious enough. See, sometimes settling for less isn't always that you settled for bad behavior or someone who didn't treat you right. Sometimes it's about them and them not living up to a high enough standard in life. They're just not the type of person that is gonna evolve you, that's gonna grow you, that's gonna move you forward in life. And too often people settle for those people because they're either afraid they won't get better or they're afraid if they give this person up, they're now gonna be alone. And so they stay there in this situation. One of the big things I've thought about is, you know, why do people sell themselves short? And very often when people, if you imagine a product, when people sell a product for less than it's worth, they do that because they're worried that that product is gonna stay on the shelf too long. 
or they're worried that the product isn't that good. So they have to devalue it in order to get rid of it. They're worried that maybe the prospect is going to walk away. Or maybe they overvalue the prospect that's buying the product. You ever done that before? You overvalue the person in front of you and as a result you let them get away with murder. So these are all the reasons that people do it. It has to start by us valuing the product in a different way. Really saying, you know what, I value this product that is me. Because here's the thing, no one is going to stick up for you like you're going to stick up for yourself. You can't rely on friends and family to do it because they're not around you 24 hours a day. When you go home with a guy, when you go on a date, it's just you two. You can't rely on people around you to stick up for you. You have to be the person that sticks up for you most in the world, like you'd stick up for your best friend. When you communicate your standards to a guy, when you want to say, this is what I want and I'm not going to sell myself short, sell myself for less than this, you have to do it in a way that doesn't impose judgment. So this isn't about saying, you're like this and that's a terrible thing. You're going to say it almost more abstractly, more objectively, where you say, look, how you are is fine. If that works for you, that's great. But I need to be around people who are of a higher standard. I need to be around people who are really playing on a higher level. And if that's not you, I understand, but I need to be around people who are passionate and ambitious and creative and love life and treat me with respect and give me the credit that I'm due. I need to be around someone like that. And that's what selling yourself for what you're really worth is all about. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. Um, I'm scratching the surface right now, but as I said, between now and the end of the year, I really wanna get you good content on a regular basis and I'm committed to that. So um, keep following me along the way. I'm off now for the next few days. I'm flying from LA to Florida, where I'm gonna be running my retreat for five days, which is gonna be an incredible experience. People are flying from all over the world to come and be part of what is a really extensive and immersive program that I do on Clearwater Beach. If you're coming, I can't wait to see you. If you're not and you wanna find out more, feel free to send us an email or leave us a comment and we'll talk to you about the next one. So thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you very soon. Take care.